Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna show you guys my updated wash day routine. Whoop whoop, it's about time. I have been getting hundreds of requests for this video, so here it is. Finally, I agree with you guys, it's about time. The last time I did a wash day video, my hair was a lot shorter and I used very different products than I use now and I've also learned like a lot so far on my natural hair journey. But yeah, I am gonna stop talking now. Let's just get straight into it. So I just gotta start off this video by letting you guys know that this is not at all sponsored by Diva Curl. It's gonna seem like it is because I am only using Diva Curl products here, but I really wanted to show y'all what I like to use and how I like to use it to achieve my most bomb wash day for the most defined curls. And for me, Diva Curl is it. Like, they just are bomb. And not only do the products work amazing for me, I've also learned so many things about curly hair from Diva Curl stylists. But yeah, I just am a huge fan of Diva Curl, and I honestly wanted to show you guys like what I reach for when I'm looking to get a bomb ass wash day. And these products are it. So here I am. Welcome to my shower, guys. <laughs> All right, so first things first, to start things off, I like to use the Diva Curl No Poo Cleanser. So this is a co-wash cleanser. It doesn't lather at all. I don't like to use shampoos. If y'all know me, y'all already know that. The whole lathering thing is just terrible for your hair. Lorraine Massey in her book, again, describes all of that and why shampoos are terrible, especially for curly hair. Um, so I have decided to commit to no shampoos. I don't use anything that lathers in my hair. So when I'm using the no poo, I like to section my hair just into two sections, just so I can make sure the product is getting all the way through. And I also start like my first round of finger detangling when I'm kind of just getting the product through all of my hair. No poo doesn't have like a great amount of slip. So if you find your hair like particularly not on that day kind of just wash it out don't worry about finger detangling at this step you don't necessarily have to you can wait until we get onto the conditioning step where we have more slip which will allow for easier finger detangling so once all of the products has been evenly distributed throughout my hair then I just go ahead and wash it out for my no poo I like to wash all of it out I don't like to leave any bit of it at all then for step two it is time to condition hunty okay I think this has got to be I want to say it's my favorite product of the video, but it's not. I guess I would have to say a second fave just because the gel is so good. Okay, so this is my second, like a really, really, really close second favorite product of this entire video, and that is the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair Mask. This is the bomb. Zocom! This is so good. Any hair type, this is just bomb. So this is what I use to apply to my hair. For this, I will actually try and section my hair out into smaller sections, so about three different sections, and then just detangle as I apply it into the hair. I like to make sure that my hair is like super, super wet when I'm applying my Heaven and Hair Mask. So Diva Curl products are actually water soluble, so the more wet your hair is, the better the products are going to work. So I just like to make sure that it's like super wet as it's being applied and then I just continue to finger detangle. The slip on this bad boy is amazing. So finger detangling is usually pretty much a breeze for me whenever I use this. So while the Heaven and Hair Mask is an actual mask, so like a hair treatment, I like to use it as a conditioner as well as also like a styler. So there are times where I will use it as a treatment and what I mean by that is I'll leave it in my hair for maybe 10 to 15 minutes to actually get it to work. A little bit deeper in my hair and get that treatment going but this can also be used as a conditioner as well as a styler I just I love this product it can do no wrong honestly for this product I never fully wash it out this allows for greater curl definition and lots of moisture I don't like to leave a lot but I leave I would say like I leave like a medium amount still in there like it I never ever fully wash this out. All right, so now that my hair is cleansed and conditioned, while it is still dripping wet, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my styling products. 
So first up is the Diva Curl Super Cream. This is just exactly as it sounds. It's just a creamy kind of leave-in conditioner. My hair can be a little bit dry sometimes, so I like to use the cream ahead of my gels. As you can see, I am just kind of applying it to my hair. I don't like to rake it through my hair because sometimes I feel like that can make my hair a lot more frizzy. Um, I feel like I can get away with that as well because my hair is still pretty short, so I kind of just slap that bad boy on there and call it a day. All right, and then for my next step to style my hair, I'm gonna take the Diva Curl Archangel Gel and also mix it in with the Believe In Miracle Curl Plumper. Boom. So I actually pour them together in my hand, mix it all together, and then apply it to my hair. This is something that I actually recently learned from another Diva Curl hairstylist, and honestly, results are boom. So the Believe In Curl Plumper is like a volumizer, so it's meant to make your hair like nice and big and poofy, but then the Archangel Gel is meant to give that definition and just get them curls in action. So when they're like together, I feel like it's like the perfect mix of volume and curl definition. Girl. Once all of the products have been applied, I then grab my Diva Curl microfiber towel and then start like drying and scrunching my curls with the towel. The reason why I like to use a microfiber towel is because they allow for much, much less frizz than if you were to use a regular cotton towel. I honestly don't 100% know like the full science on how this works. I don't know, it's just better than cotton towels. Tried, tested, and proven. Invest in a microfiber towel if you don't already have one. And then if I am rushing to go somewhere and I cannot have my wet curls draping over my eyes, then I will go ahead and grab my diffuser and kind of dry my curls a little bit. I don't like to diffuse my hair fully dry. I like to do it to where it's like 50% dry and then I'll just let the rest of it air dry. On a regular regular wash day where I'm just literally sitting at home doing nothing on a Sunday, then I will just let my hair air dry. The microfiber towel will dry it enough so that it's not dripping everywhere. And then I just let it air dry. That's but yeah guys, as you can see, this has allowed for amazing curl definition. I find that when I finger detangle and then use these products, my curl definition is just popping. Finger detangling can be a pain, like honestly you have to section your hair out and really just have some patience to do it. It just can feel like such a task, but to me like the way my hair responds to it, like I don't even care, it just doesn't even matter. That's what I'm finna do. No brushes for me. But yeah guys, that is it for my wash day. So this is how it came out. What do we think? My curls have never been this poppin'. I mean, they're just a brand that I trust. I know they put healthy ingredients, they are dedicated to learning more and more about curly hair, and learning more about the science of curly hair, and how you really should take care of it, and I don't know, I'm just like a major, major fan and a major believer in Diva Curl. But yeah guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. You guys have been asking for this video forever, so here it is. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You already know what to do if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can become friends. You can see all my videos. It'll be a good time, I promise. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.